I am Dr. Jay Krishnan. I practice at uh, August Child with a clinic in Hyderabad, uh, which is in uh, this clinic is in Anand Bar, which comes in between Malkashgiri and Sakil Buddha. I have been practicing since 1996. One of the commonest diseases that we see uh, these days with the increasing pollution, dust pollution, noise pollution, and uh, uh, you can say vehicular pollution, smoke pollution, whatever is there uh, in the urban areas is a condition called sinusitis or allergic sinusitis or allergic rhinitis. These are three conditions which we see regularly in our practice. A patient may come with severe sneezing, bouts of sneezing and running nose, watery running nose or severe itching in the face, different parts of the face, nose, eyes or watering of the eyes or watering of continuous watery secretions through the nose. This particular condition is called allergic rhinitis. In Ayurveda, this is called a condition called Pratishaya. Or uh, in, uh, in Ayurveda, there is a beautiful explanation for Pratishaya. In Ayurveda, we classify this particular problem into Vataja Pratishaya, Pittaja Pratishaya, Raktaja, uh, Kafaja Pratishaya, and Sanipataja Pratishaya. If particular, this particular problem is neglected, the infection, the allergy may spread to your sinuses, which is, uh, there are different types of sinuses in our body, which are here in the maxillary sinus, the frontal sinus, which are here, and there are sphenoid sinus, ethmoidal sinus, total. Different types of, four types of sinuses are there, which are empty cavities, which are present inside the skull. Which are, again, uh, lined with mucosal membrane, they will have some secretions which are coming out, which are connected to your nose through small, very minute ducts. The sinusitis condition happens when there is inflammation inside the mucosal membranes which are inside the sinuses and sometimes when the duct gets blocked you will have severe pain which is throbbing in nature uh, or a headache which will happen to you. A sinusitis patient will come with the heaviness in the head or a severe throbbing headache which has been uh, recurrent or when he takes a head bath probably there are chances of uh, occurrence or recurrence or aggravation of this particular condition. People who are working in a uh, air conditioned environment or people who are working in a dusty environment they are more prone to suffer from allergic rhinitis and allergic sinusitis. There can sometimes be a bacterial infection which will create other problems such as fever along with your headache or the uh, pain which is uh, coming out as a headache. So what to do? How does Ayurveda treat? Let us look at these uh, particular things. In Ayurveda, whenever you come, uh, he will, uh, a, patient, a, a patient will be examined by a doctor. He will look at your sinuses by pressing over the sinuses. If there is any tenderness or any pain when there is a pressure which has uh, being uh, when I exert the pressure on the sinuses, if you have any pain, that is easily identifiable. Sometimes where a patient may complain with uh, that I am unable to uh, bend forward, and when I bend forward, there is very severe throbbing headache or heavy, heavy uh, heaviness in my head. Sometimes the pain may not be visible in the front part of the uh, face. Sometimes it can uh, show on the back side of the head. That is called the referred pain, uh, which is uh, seen in the occipital area of the head. This again has to be correlated to the sinusitis by an experienced physician. He should, uh, he will always say that your problem lies in the sinuses or in the nose and not on the head or the brain. So, how do we address this? What are the causes? The causes are uh, if you are uh, prone to or if you are uh, likely to take more amount of sweets, banana, fruits like watermelon, sita fun, or excessive consumption of milk and milk products. It may be pure milk or curd or paneer or cheese. Uh, this may be one of the factors which is creating the problem or aggravating the problem. If you are regularly using uh, soft drinks or carbonated uh, flavored drinks that also can aggravate your condition. So when you come to an Ayurvedic doctor, he will definitely advise you 
regarding the patya and the apatya. So, if in Ayurveda there is a saying called patya sati gada tasya kim aushadani shevanam, patya asati gada tasya kim aushadani shevanam. So, if you are able to follow a proper diet, you don't need to resort to medicines. And if you are unable to follow a proper diet, then what is the need of taking medicines? That means that even if you take medicines and you are not following a particular proper diet which is advised by your doctor, then you are not going to get the results of the treatment. This is what is the emphasis or the importance given to a particular diet. Especially I advise my patients to avoid sweets, milk and milk products if they want to come out of the problem of sinusitis. And naturally to dry their uh, head or the skull properly with the towels. Um, and there is a process of applying a head oil or the scalp oil which is used before uh, taking bath. It can be Marichadi Thailam, Nagaradi Thailam and uh, after head bath there is a process of using a particular pinch of uh, Rasmadi Cholam on the skull uh, to prevent the aggravation of the sinusitis or aggravation of rhinitis. Common cold is also very easily addressed using Ayurvedic medicines. Ayurveda addresses it by giving you medicines to improve your immune system or to modulate your immune system. It strengthens your uh, body stamina and it improves your uh, ability to fight against bacteria and viruses. So commonly used medicines, we can say Ayurveda uses Chavan Prash, Agastya Sainam, Kandakari Lekhyam and Chitrakari Tiki Avalekhyam. These are jaggery based preparations which are little bit solid in nature which you have to take, lick and eat and follow it up with drinking of uh, lukewarm water or warm water. Along with that, Ayurveda prescriptions medicines like Sitopladi Churnam, Dega Talisadi Churnam, and different Gulikas, Pyoshadi Bhatti, Pyoshadi Gukulu, uh, Kafaketu Das, Shirashuda Tibachara Das, and uh, Surchetra Das, Lagashuk Shekhar Das. Based on your condition, the treatment and the medicines will be changing. Along with this, Ayurveda has got a beautiful treatment called Nasikarma. Nasikarma is the use of medicated oil or churnas to be instilled inside the nose and Ayurveda says Nasohi Shirasotra because you can say the pathology from the nose can spread to the, bo uh, the, to the brain and it, will, it has got the potency or the potential to create very severe problems as well as it can be, nose can be used to deliver medicines. So that's why Ayurveda says Nasahi Chiraso Dwaram. Through the nose, Ayurveda uses medicated oils in the dosage form of two drops, three drops, four drops, five drops, six drops, up to ten drops. Early in the morning, on an empty stomach, immediately after brushing, if you are able to instill this particular advice to drops, then the sinuses get drained and your heaviness and your uh, condition or your headache will disappear over a period of time. I have treated conditions, uh, people who have suffered from, they are saying that I have, I was suffering from 15 years of headache or 20 years of headache. Since my childhood, I have been regularly facing headache and now after taking treatment, the patients are very, very happy that uh, their, uh, you know, pain incidence has disappeared or reduced to such an extent that they are uh, able to confidently say that Ayurveda has helped them a lot in getting rid of the sinusitis. And then uh, you can say allergic rhinitis, it's a beautiful treatments are available in Ayurveda. Definitely I can say with confidence that if ever there is a, a condition which can be easily addressed, very beautifully addressed and successfully addressed, then these two are the uh, conditions, common cold and headache which is caused by headache, uh, sinusitis easily addressed, quickly addressed, very quick onset of relief and uh, definitely doesn't have any side effects. You can use it without giving any thoughts to the consequences of taking the medicines. They are palatable, they are easily available, accessible and 
definitely the results are very quick in nature. Thank you very much.